the sun's out because you always feel so there's a way down but to be quite at my age I'd, I'd probably break my neck trying to get down there look <sighs> sorry there's a path up here I'm just going to follow it round and come down that one but the streams down there I got across it just goes up a bit and bends around <sighs> Yeah, so, the, um, like I said, doing a bit of off track, if you like, like I did earlier, is good. It gives you another feeling of wholeness with the wood, that you've gone inside the wood, if you like. Instead of always going around the edges and looking in, you actually go in and you find how peaceful it is in there. Um, cool quite cold probably in the winter. Ah yes, now this is where we turn. Now I'm glad I've come to this junction point. Obviously horses come here and see the lots of hooves. Because this is where I often emerge when I've done the stream that way. I come up here. I come up here. I'm going down there in a second, but I come up here. You come to this junction point. Now I haven't been down that one for a while. So that's something I need to do one day. But quite often I go up there. I rarely go around that way. And I rarely go that way because that's going downhill. That probably takes you to the stream further up. But I don't want to do it today. I would like to do it, but I've got to be realistic because I'm not quite sure where it goes. And we've done quite a bit of um, exploring. Now in a minute we'll be off all this rubbly stuff and we'll be going across the stream which has got a name but I can't remember it. It'll be on other videos. <laughs> when I first did all this place I res researched it all so that I could refer to names and whatever you know but uh, This is just an update really in the summer. I mean, I did this back in, I think I went up this way. No, I didn't go up this way. I went, the, I went a completely different way, didn't I? Um, further up the stream I went up on that occasion, but I have been up here within the last year. I have been up here. This is just gonna tip back track. Now there was a little track I said, I thought we were gonna be on, but uh, we aren't, but it doesn't matter because I didn't. I've enjoyed walking through the woods, doing the rough bit. I feel I know them then. I've, if I go in them, you feel a part of the wood. Like you're saying hello to the wood. The wood's saying yes. You can. We'll let you in, Sheila. You can come in. And it's a good idea to know your way around. Especially if you get injured and you had to hobble home in the dark or something. Uh, I don't know what it would be at, like in the dark. That would probably be quite alarming, to be honest. But um, <sighs> Knowing if you always go, keep going straight in either direction, any direction, you will come to one of the main tracks. And you just keep following that and that will take you to another track and eventually you could be accessed. Now, we've had a hot, dry summer. I haven't been here s since before the heat wave. Yes, it's very tiny. Still trickling, because well, I think we've had a bit of rain. But yes, yeah, very tiny. Normally I have to tiptoe across this and not get my feet wet, but... Here it is. And as I go in, this is when I might get attacked by the insects. This has got a name, this particular area. I can't remember it though, off the top of my head. But it's um, Robero Brook, you could call it for now. And that's all to do with the waterworks there, and there's beehives in there. I'm just going to turn off now, take a picture. Right, I've had to come back on again. I've got a feeling that turned itself off and I can't seem to find the um, replay 
So I'll just come back up here a minute. I'd only just put it on. I was just referring to the stream and um, some people came by anyway. I was just referring to the stream and whether it was bad, how bad it was a month ago when the heat wave was on. So I'm just going to record it again, this bit. I'd only just turned it off to take photos. Turned it back on again. This does play up. This this is my older camera. And I was just saying how it would be nice to soak one's feet. Take the boots off. So I'm trying again. I have done a couple of videos with it. And it's not turned itself off, so that's good. So that was just a blip then. But it enabled me to come back and video this bit again. It was only a matter of a couple of minutes. Two, two people came by anyway, so I wouldn't have wanted them in the video. Something musical, magical, mystical about water, isn't there? Somebody else coming now. Two people on bikes. Two kids. How many? I just took one more. Huh? Just one more person. Yeah. No, he's a bit slow, isn't he? I'll just let him by. I'll go back over by the stream. There's just a couple of boy bikers coming by. That could have been their parents ahead of them. I've got no idea if it was. I was just saying how it's magical, mystical, the sound of water is. I've got a feeling that might have been on the video that conked out and I don't even know if it'll come back on. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much. This is on the return trip now towards Alberta, following the stream back. It's a nice little walk. It's going to be a good hour. It's an hour's walk at my pace, taking photos, video. Yeah, they don't look so fresh and green, the, the trees now. They're looking like they are a bit parched. And, um, well, the evergreens will be here. They'll get a lot of water in the winter, I would have thought. Although we have had sort of dry winters as well. So anyway, accompanying me is the sound of the stream, the babbling brook, as referred to by Wordsworth when he talks about the babbling brook. I don't know if they ever came here. I don't know if they would have known about this hill fort. I mean, they were educated people. They might have, might have known about it. 
they did seem to get about these people and they had horses and carriages they still got about though didn't they right we're entering like a dark area now and this is another place where you can cross the stream and go up and join the other side if you want to and then you've got all these trees that are in the shade quite a bit here and the stream just carries on and on down through here for I don't know half a mile maybe I've never really measured it to be quite honest but it's usually a lot fuller but at least there is some water at least any animals and plants are having a drink of some sort there we go look all the way down I'm going to turn off and take a few pictures now. Eh? 